I'm just a happy, happy man. This is mental. We're actually playing golf in the snow, man. What am I doing? It's freaking, someone said it was spring. I was feeding lambs with the kids of the week. Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. It's, it's, it's snowing. I thought the spring was, I'm freezing. I thought spring was coming. I thought it was gonna get warmer. I was getting excited. It's not, it's Baltic. It's actually snowing. But oh, pfft, I was trying to get some golf in before the snow came. It's gonna be a write off, but it looks like the snow's caught us up. Anyway, we're gonna try and do nine holes. This is the second last nine hole breaking par of the winter. <laughs> Love how I'm saying that in the snow. I feel good today. I've sorted my driver out. There's no more slice. Famous last words. Let's have it. This slices, I'm going home. It slices in the snow. I'm going home. Yes! Get in! Slice is gone. Slice is gone. You might hear me talking about this a lot today. So with driver, I realized I was swinging very far right um, to the left. So for me, it doesn't matter if I had a one degree open club face, swing to the left, whew, ball's going right. So I kind of realized that my grip, this hand's been, always been all right, but this hand sat like this. Like my thumb's very on here. So my th this right hand has always been very, kind of dominant and I've always wanted to make it a little bit like this but I've never had the bottle but anyway today we're going to be swinging it like that so from this to that this to that that is huge and that got my driver swing direction from like seven degrees that way to like naught degrees so now if the club face is open one or two degrees it's a that baby fade it's so much better so I've tucked it in my irons I just feel like it's it's just so much more consistent and the strike is a lot better. So if you notice the better strike and a bit of a difference of a swing, it's, I've changed my grip. Like 146 yards in. My drive's plugged here. So we've had what, freaking hell, four yards of rollout and we've got 145 yards in. The flight on that was a little bit low, but straight. Have I fixed? The slice, has it gone? And one of the main things, I think with my grip. Anyway, let's please not thin this. Oh, it's pure, man. Be the club, be the club. Oh! A drive and a straight iron shot in the snow. But he want to be in summer. Hee <laughs> hee! Telling you, if this driver stays up and the irons have been the way they are, today could be a very cold, good day. Oh, the sand, I can't be to clean the ball, that's a thing though. I hate sand, sand and snow. <laughs> sand and snow are a weird, very weird mix. Right. I'll take that for these conditions. What a start, par, hardest hole on this nine. Let's go. Oh, that is a sandy ball. Yeah, we'll do this one. I think we'll do one more nine holer and then we'll, uh, We'll start, I think we're going to be starting off down in Liverpool for the break 80s, like I said. So hopefully we'll try and get on Birkdale again. So we're going to try and do Hillside and Birkdale as the first two break 80 lottery ones. And then I'll be playing some of you lot for cash. We're going to do as well, do you think this is a good idea? I think we should do once a month subscriber challenge. Whoever's playing me for the pot, to so see you playing me for 400 quid, we'll do it over 18 holes. An 18 hole match play. Be sick. Second hole. I'm gonna go straight over, cut the corner, can go straight, somewhere down there. Right, let's have another good drive, nice and straight. No, it's creeped back in. That's because I aimed left. Safe, but that was, that was it. Ooh, I got too excited on that first hole. What I do is though, if I aim left, so there I've aimed left, I obviously, I swing left. Bloody hell, I don't even want to take these gloves off. It's freezing. And we've got 100, how have we got 180 yards in? That's a difference, right? The slicey, fairly ones, it's only gone 220 yards. That drive before went about 270. If I can get up there and then obviously have a chip and a putt, that'll be, that'll be amazing. Cut, cut, cut. Strike, by the way. I think it could be on there. Oh, do you know what? 
I'm actually not even that angry with that. This is mental. We're actually playing golf in the snow, man. What am I doing? It's freaking, someone said it was spring. I was feeding lambs with the kids of the week. Springtime. Now I'm putting through freaking desert. <gasps> I literally thought that was gonna turn last minute. <sighs> Take the bogey out the bunker. Tee shot killed it a little bit. That's what happens. That just proves how much that slice literally just kills you. Just kills you. You're miles back, you've got six irons into greens, makes the hole a, a really easy hole really difficult. I should be playing conservative really, but there's not actually that much danger up there if you can get around the green. Oh my God, that could be so good. That could be so good. Let's go. Let's go. I did have the seven wood out and I bottled it. That could be the difference. Come on, be on the green for a birdie, that would be sick. So normally, like I said, you'd, you'd lay up to here and you've got like a 100 yards shot in. It's not even a big layup. I've gone for it, which is a 280 yard shot in the snow. Um, and we've came up just short in this bunker. So, I mean a bunker shot over a 120 yard shot in. It's not thingy, but at least for knowing summer, this is definitely gettable because like I said, it's freezing. And we'll just hit that and it fading a little bit. Not as bad as you think. <laughs> yeah, I still feel like I played it all right, but get in the hole. Oh my god. Top <gasps> Can you imagine twice in the same few weeks? <sighs> so it was worth it. Tom, but thank you. Thanks, Gary. So I did say it was worth going it, but it was a hard bunker shot. I still wasn't in a green in regulation. But we have made a par. A very strange par. Try to drive the green, ended up in a bunker, flew the green, up and down. Oh, that was pure strike. Massive though, isn't it? I know, literally pin high. 10 foot of the left. That felt good. I don't know how that looked, but and by the way, I always say this, don't think when I'm getting bigger myself up all the time, that it's like an arrogant thing or nothing. That is me just generally getting excited for how hard I've worked. I just get so excited when I hit a good shot. So I kind of go, oh my God, what a shot. But that's not me complimenting myself, if that makes sense. It's just me getting really excited. The golf holiday will be happening. So I'm thinking we'll go somewhere with a lot of courses, could be Spain, could be wherever. I think we'll do three rounds, three days, have a big competition. Everyone put 20 quid in or whatever. And we'll have 54 people. So every day we're gonna have a shotgun start, three people. So yeah, there'll be 54 spaces available for the Gazza's Golf holiday trip. Get the beers ready. Right, birdie putt. Could go anywhere. It's about 25 foot. Good for distance. Feel sorry for all the green keepers, man, doing all this green stuff and then everyone thinks spring's coming and then it just whacks down with snow. Right, so just before we get going, I just wanna ask a very honest question about you watching and your golf clubs because I obviously use the P7MCs, which are probably player's irons, right? Don't get us wrong, I'm breaking 80 quite a bit, but I'm using literally a block of forged metal. <laughs> there's no tungsten, there's no real forgiveness. So, out of interest, please put your handicap in the comments and the clubs you use. Are you like a three handicap, but you still use P790s? Are you using the T100Ss, but you're a one handicap? Or you're a scratch golfer? Because obviously I'm going to have a little fit in and stuff just to have a look at my irons before the season starts. But I'm very tempted to maybe drop from the P7MCs to maybe the 770s. Yep, the stronger bats. Well, they're not. They're the same lofts. They've just got a lot more forgiveness in them or maybe a T100S. And do you think I should try something slightly more forgiving? Yes, another one. Get in, get in. So 210 yards in. I still think that's gone. Fair whack into the snow. Right, what are you thinking? Seven wouldn't go for it? Oh, please just fade a little bit. Please just fade a little bit. Come down. Oh, stop! <laughs> but it's just hit the left conifer 
just left of the water, left corner fan, just dropped down. So I think it, it would have been very close to be fair. So thank God I pulled it a little bit. Like I said, it came here. To be fair, I suppose it's a good job because it would have been in the water. It I was hoping there, but it's clipped the tree and landed there. Am I allowed to move the stake, Tom? Sit, 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 sit. Thank you, boys, thank you. And I knew you were watching there as well. I, I knew. Wow. Oh, man. Oh. Still low. It's a good paw. And I went for it. I didn't bottle the lay up. Ripped. I didn't hit this because it's only 81 yards. Watches and trolleys with all the GPS on are good. I would have went 106. It's so much better having a like a rangefinder because that is 80. I would have played a 20 yard longer shot there than I had to. Be good. That is such a good distance. Oh my God. Look at the sand on the ball. Just gathering. Really, really happy with that hole. It's a great driving iron. It's a hard club. I used to think it was a hard club to hit. Absolute strike on this. It's going to be pure. Oh my God. Tom, that is unbelievable. Beyond the green. Oh my God. That makes me, it just makes me so happy, man. I'm just a happy, happy man. This is, this is the kind of stuff I will lie in bed tonight and I will think about a six iron, 180 yards, didn't move, pure strike to 15 foot in the snow. I love golf. You can see that roll of sand, just getting on it. Look at the ball, man. <laughs> Let me put a... <laughs> Still made par, though. Oh, my God. Little fade. Unbelievable, that. Right, so we've still got 300 yards in here. 300 yards. Anything to do with 60, 50, 60, 70 yards in, even 80 yards, <laughs> I'll be happy. I smoked. That should, we'll see, that should hopefully leave 80 yards in. 81 yards, that literally has just gone. Gone 220 in this cold weather. In the mud. Ah, we're short. Spin, 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 spin. Go in, go in. Oh! <gasps> Oh, I'm not gonna lie, definitely thin that. Right, up and down save. Only one fat today as well, only one fat. I've always been a big believer of, you don't need to change your grip. Stick with your own grip, swing it your own way. But, I've got to admit, it has worked. I've swung that a little bit left, but it's not a slice. That's the most important thing. In play, it's the right hand side of the fairway. 148 yards. It's probably a good nine, if not an eight. Ball's above my feet. I'm gonna hit an eight. Just because I think a nine might be a bit short and the bunkers are short, so I don't wanna go short. I thin that, but it's good. Ow. Oh no, it's miles short. I caught a thin. Ow! Friggin' golf in the snow, man. Everything I wanted it to do. It definitely did. Just even broke my hand. Try and get this up in the air and land softly. Guys, that's exquisite. The, the standard of that. That's, that's daft, man. Get in. Makes me so happy. What a golf shot that is, man. Oh. New grip. 
I'm just, what a day. I've made two huge changes, right, in the last three weeks. My swing, which is completely different. You'll notice it's a lot more fluent and there's not a lot, of, not a lot really goes on with it. And then grip. And them two combined, just in time for the summer. Oh, what a paw this is to finish. Oh, what a paw that is. Right, thanks for watching. One over again. What a good round at the day at Howley. We're back here. Another one over. A couple of more matches under my belt. I think we're going to have a few more matches going soon. A few daft challenges and stuff. Um, and then it'll be go time in a few weeks, literally. Like I said, Hillside, Birkdale. I really want to get going with this lottery because I think it'll be amazing. I think it'll be amazing. There'll be like a little rolling count on the top corner and then someone will get a chance to come play me for the cash. Break 80 lottery coming soon. Right, from me and my new grip. See you later.